So I'm going to demonstrate the slipstream of Windows 10 system drivers into Windows 10 installation media. So for this I'm going to use an Optiplex 7040 and I'm going to go to the Dell website and I'm going to select the operating system as Windows 10 and under the category systems management I'm going to download the Windows 10 driver pack. So the driver pack will only be available for the business models, which are the Optiplex, the Latitude, the Precision and the XPS ranges. Okay, so once we've downloaded the drivers, we'll need to extract them. And for this, we'll need to have 7-zip installed. So I've already got 7-zip installed. So what I need to do now is right click the driver pack and select 7-zip and then extract to and there may be an error just select close it's okay and open the contents and we get to this x64 folder so what we want to do is just rename this x64 folder to Dell Drivers and we're going to have no spaces in this and we can copy this over to the C drive. Now we've already created the Windows 10 installation media using the Windows 10 media creation tool and what we want to do is go to the bootable USB and go to the sources folder and we're looking for the install.esd file. Okay, so what we're going to do is copy that over to the C drive and we'll need to select continue here and now it's copied across. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is look at the properties of this install.esd file and you can type everything in manually into the command prompt but I recommend just copying I'm pasting the following into notepad and saving it as a batch file. So let's copy this and let's open up notepad. So you can press windows and R and type in notepad to open up notepad or you can get it from the start menu. Okay, so what we can do is save the file. Now we don't want to just save it as a normal text file. We want to change the extension. So when we select save as type we want to change this to all files and we want to end it end.cmd okay so we can close our notepad now we can right click this file and select run as administrator accept the user account control prompt and we see the information of the install.esd shown in the command window. Now I want to work with index 6 Windows 10 Pro so what I'm going to do is convert the install.esd to install.wim. Okay so let's once again copy the following code into notepad and we'll save this once again as a batch file. Now if I didn't want to work with the Pro Edition then the source index I would choose would be different to 6. For most business models you will be working with index 6 however some people may be using this with a enterprise um, installation ISO and therefore have a different index. Okay. So once again, what we're going to do is right click this and select run as administrator. Accept the user account control prompt. And what it's going to do is it's going to export the six index of the install.esd into an install.wim file. So the install.esd files are usually better compressed. So the install.wim file will be slightly larger. So once this is done, uh, the command 
prompt window will close. And now I want to go ahead and add the drivers to this install dot win. So basically what we once again do is copy and paste the code into notepad. So since we've only extracted one addition to the install.wim, the index will be one. Now my temporary folder is called pro. It doesn't actually matter what the temporary folder is called, as long as it's just consistent throughout the code. So if you were using a different installation ISO and looking to install Windows 10 Enterprise, you could change the folder to Enterprise but it wouldn't actually matter for running this, this script. So once again, we'll save it with the extension .cmd and we'll run it as an administrator. Okay, so it'll give us the information about the install.wim and then we'll need to press any key to continue. So in essence, what the script is going to do is it's going to create a temporary folder and in our case the temporary folder is called pro and to this folder it's going to extract the contents of the first index of the install.wim and once it's done this it will add the drivers from Dell drivers to this temporary folder pro and once it's done that it will update the changes and save the first index of the install.wim once this is saved, it will delete the temporary folder pro. Okay, so we have the updated install.wim. Now if we right click it and select properties, we can see its size. And its size is larger than four gigabytes. So this means it will not fit on installation media that is formatted as FAT32 and we need installation media to be formatted as FAT32 to pass secure boot. So in order to address this issue, what we're going to do is convert the large install.wim to multiple install.swm files and each swm file will be smaller than 4 gigabytes. Okay, so let's copy and paste this line of code into notepad, save it with the extension .cmd and right click it and select run as administrator. So once again this will take some time to execute and once it's finished the command prompt will automatically close. So now you see we've got these two swm files and the last step is to delete the install.esd file from the bootable USB and replace it with the multiple install.swm files. So this gives installation media that is only a single edition, however it includes all the system drivers required for the Dell Optiplex 7040. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to clean install Windows 10 on an Optiplex 7040. So let me just swap computers and I'm going to boot the Optiplex 7040 with this new Windows 10 bootable USB. So you see the boot mode is set to UEFI and secure boot is on. And you can now just go ahead and install Windows 10 as normal. So if we select next and then install now. We'll get to the license agreement screen. And then we can select custom and we can delete all partitions on the solid state drive. Now the way that I'm deleting partitions and installing on the solid state drive just gives the solid state drive a format. If you were passing the computer on to a new owner then what you should do is securely wipe the solid state drive and most of the Dell business models 
that this tutorial video covers. We'll have Dell Data Wipe, which you can access from the UFI BIOS. If not, you can use Parted Magic, and I've got additional tutorial videos on using either of these. Okay, so the computer will restart. And we'll see the Dell logo and Windows will install. Now, once we get to this screen, what we can do is remove the bootable USB and turn off the computer. This gives it a state which is pretty similar to an up-to-date factory image. So I'm going to go ahead and continue. And I'm going to install without connecting to the internet. And I'm going to use just a local account because we can't log in with a Microsoft account if we're not online. And I'll just use the minimalistic settings just now. So we are finally at the last stages of Windows 10 installation and I've kept this installation offline. So what I'm going to do now is right click the start button and select device manager. And as you see, all the system drivers are installed because they were included on the Windows 10 installation media.